So my plant came in today. I ordered a uh, Nubis. Can't really pronounce the name, but I'll put on the video description. And came first class, and I was hoping it will make make it here because in the Midwest we have a big storm this week, and yeah, I finally came in. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this box, and I'll show you guys what's in there. So here's the box, and I took the wrapping off of it. They put it in this priority mailbox. And you can see there's kind of styrofoam in here. And part of my invoice in here. And they kind of insulate it with fiber, fiber, some kind of fiber. And here's the plant. Oh, it's pretty long here. Very, very long. Let me see. And the roots are wet with paper towel. I got, I think there's probably three stems in here, so pretty good. I'm gonna show you. I, I'm going to uh, put them on a piece of rock and then put in the tank. So this is the plant. It's what look like. Very tall leaves. Very nice structure root here. Has a ribosome here. You pr you could probably split this into like two of them, I guess. Still very nice. So I'm gonna trim all the roots here and kind of wash it out here because it does have some kind of dirt on it and there are plenty in my tank so here it is got it all tied to this little piece of lava rock and the reason why I kind of tied to a small piece of lava rock is because I wanted the I wanted the plant to spread roots into the substrate so the plan is it's going to start to root into the substrate and spread its ribosome across the substrate. That's pretty much it. And because I use a small little lava rock, I can bury this into the substrate and people will think that, hey, you're growing your Anubis in the substrate, but you read it, but really you're not because you just kind of tie into a rock and that's pretty much the basic and you see, you see how it kind of stands pretty good here so that's that's it and it's gonna go to my 55 gallon tank and there was an Amazon store in there the big one I took that out and this will go and replace it because the Amazon store is too much work for me and it requires a lot of nutrients to stay healthy and I just don't have the time for that so this plant is very low light very easy to care for and I wouldn't have to do a lot of trimmings on it and it will pretty much be low maintenance and that's really what I'm trying to aim for